think from an athlete standpoint, you know, we, we hear about it, but we really don't know what's going on. I, I want to try to help in any way I can. I bet you that's on. I'm yeah. here. Hey, how you doing? John, John. how you good doing, man? You. Okay. Good to see you. All right, I'm Omar. Thanks for Omar, how you, doing, how you doing, man? brother? Good to see you, man. Nice to meet you, right, man. man. It's, it's a pleasure to be here. Yeah, yeah. Have you here. to have you, man. Yeah. I'm on y'all home <laughs> turf, so. <laughs> really, a very small group of people that are doing all the damage in Chad and in, in Darfur. And the government in Sudan decided we're going to commit genocide to keep power. So it arms a very small percentage of Arab, uh, young Arab guys who are, you know, basically gangbangers. They're militia guys. And they go out and they torch villages. And their reward is they rape women indiscriminately and they keep all the livestock. You say these, these people that's doing all this, you know, all the, the killing or whatever, you say it's a small group. Now, who comes to the defense of the people that they're torturing? Yeah, that, that, is, that ought to be the internet, it ought to be us, but we haven't, frankly. Can I, can I show you this map for a second? Yeah, it's right here. If, if, if uh, just so we, just the basics here. This is Sudan. Sudan's one of the largest countries in all of Africa. Chad, much smaller country. Darfur is all the western part of Sudan. So we know from 2003 till the present, there was this horrific war, which many people have characterized as genocide, inside Darfur that has uh, displaced two and a half million uh, Darfurian people. Quarter of a million came over into refugee camps all along the border here, and the rest of the two million are all inside Sudan in camps, just like the camps we're gonna see uh, over the next few days. Ask her um, how she believes me being American, an everyday American, could help our situation. She said, I, I don't know the Americans. I don't know how they are going to receive my request. But this is what I want. <laughs> I want security in my place where I, where I go back. The water source, we need the well to function again. But the most important thing for us now is to have a school for our children. Because when we educate our children, then we can be a better community. Nice to be here in Jabal. Your name? John. John. Yeah, yeah. You? What is your name? My name is Mama. Okay, where was your home village? Uh, my village at there. What is Sekter. the name? Yeah. The name of the village? Oh, my village sector. Sector 4. Ah, I mean uh, in village Java. in Darfur. In Darfur, my, my village is called Meramta. Meramta, yeah. Okay. You also wanted to go with you to the American to learn English. Yeah, we like to call us in another class. We, we, have to make it, we have to make it work here because you are the future of Sudan. You are the future of Darfur. Okay, yeah. And so you don't want to go to America, then what happens to Darfur? You learn here yeah. and go back yeah. and make your country a better place. That is you the best to chance. Be what? The president of Sudan. Yeah. Your future president. Yeah. I like it. The message that we have to the rest of the world is to tell them to help us with education because our future is gone. 
for us, but we want to invest in the future of our children. Okay. That is the most important message we want you to relay to the rest of the world. Okay, you want to come here? Okay. Also, we need from here high school. We know how high school from Secondary school. Sunday school? Yes, we know how here. Secondary school? We only have primary school, no high school. No high school. Secondary school. Secondary school, no staff from here. We need also an English teachers and books. We are going to try to provide that. We are going to try to get them the help that you guys need. Um, you know, I, I think it's, it's one of the main reasons why I'm here, you know, for you guys to, you know, the, the main things you guys need is the education. And uh, you need the facilities. You need the tools that comes along with that uh, to better yourselves as individuals and to have those resources to become, you know, whatever you want to become in life. And, that's why I'm here to help you guys with that. Tomorrow we, we might have the next astronaut or the next uh, doctor who will find a cure of, of, for cancer from right here in this place. And my role is to, to give a chance. So I took myself outside of, you know, my shoes. Just imagine, you know, this could be us. You know, what if the, the roles were reversed? You know, what if the dice were, you know, rolled another way? It's not, it's not a joke, it's not a game, this is real. You know, this is, you know, our people we talking about. Without any further ado, let me introduce to you Mr. Tracy McGrady. <laughs> Challenging you guys today to, to help these kids get an education and help them better themselves because they struggle to eat, they struggle for their protection. You know, we all have problems. When I tell you, our problems are nothing compared to what they have.